Now, they've been there now for five years. And it's a single project has been initiated by APC, MBU Commission. I've not seen it. Is it the airports, which are a PDP program? Is it the railways, which are a PDP program? Is it the power? What is it? They promise you know, a refinery every year for four years. I don't know. You go from the Reverend you know, with this oil. Do you have it here? That refinery? What they say? Huh? Do you have it? So they lied. But the lies, lies are the culture of APC. They have no sort of shame or honor. They tell lies anyhow. They tell lies in the morning, in the evening, and in the night. Continuing over and over. Therefore, the more lies they tell, the more they are covering their own lies. I was in Kano about five years ago. I don't know they are commissioning a, a railway project from, I think, around Katuna to Niamey. And what I found so really incredible was that the project they are trying to do the groundbreaking work was to be based on a loan yet to be negotiated, on a loan yet to be negotiated, yet they are, you know, commissioning the, the, the groundbreaking ceremony. So what do you expect? Which I thank you very much. I say, make her to you. Make her to you again. Make her to you. Because I asked you, how much do you own the banks in River State? You said it's a single couple. Everything you did here was in the revenue you got from the state and federal allocation. So it means you are genuine. You are sincere, you are very honest, you don't deceive. And that's why people of this particular local government, the MOHA and the inquiry, thank you about the you know Wiki came around. Wiki arrived on the scene. Because today, from this very village, you can drive to Port Harcourt, fly to go to the airport, fly to London, to America. And those who are in America will come by their friends in at night and drive through here safely to their villages. That's what's called communication. What's called opening areas to enhance social mobilization, social movement, to enhance community cooperation, to enhance, you know, brothers and sisters by visiting each other, to bring out, you know, materials from the farms, be it cassava or banana to the next packet, which means you are connected because in this area of connectivity, this area is now connected. Connected by whom? By a very, very loving governor who is very, very compassionate. So, when somebody who was here talking about the APC, I just laughed. Telling me in River State who is not PDP in 1999. Tell me. The man confessed, he said he was PDP. Why did he be PDP to APC to go and do what there? But because they tell lies, they deceive. You see, leadership is very, very important. Leadership is the symbol of God. And when you lead, you must lead very honestly and sincerely. When you tell lies, you get compounded and confused. And no wonder. So, Governor Wiki, please be kind enough to reach out to the Minister of Works in Abuja and say, come to me, let me teach you how to do your own job. Call him. Because it's a duty to others so they know so that we can support them. They, can, they can't think. They have no vision. They have no feeling. They have no compassion. They are there for the power. And the power, they are now tormenting them. Because the power is abused. And I would encourage you, what you are doing by inviting your friends and brothers from Nigeria, is to restore that, you know, that connectivity of trust between Nigerians. In the last five years of APC government, Nigeria has become more divided. There's more hate in, 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 in the unity. North and South, East and West, Christian and Muslims, even a neighbor and a neighbor. You have mega problems and also micro problems from top to bottom. It's all confusion and crisis. So please keep on inviting your even APC. Call them here. Because we need to have leaders like you as governors seem to be working together to restore trust in Nigeria. That thing called trust in Nigeria is missing. It's gone. So please invite them, let them come. When we see you calling people, they are coming here and they call the, the, the areas. 
Now it means there is hope in Nigeria. Now it means there is future in Nigeria. But when we all say in our own location, in our own cubicles, abusing each other, learning each other, telling lies, Nigeria will be disintegrated. And today, today, I am no part of doom, but then from there I see things. I compare 1999 to, 20, to 2014. And then 2015 to date, I've been saying we've got a two-page history. Page one, PDP government, unity, trust, stability, prosperity, love for each other, compassion. Page two, 2014, 2021, APC government, hate, division, malice, pain, insecurity. Brotherhood is the old one. And that's why we are today more divided than we were in 2014. So Nigeria are now the wiser because they know the two histories. They join PDP, APC, they can choose, they know it. They've been deceived, like this guy who came from APC said that he was deceived. But how could a former PDP be deceived? Anybody with one eyes open, how could he be deceived by APC? What is APC? Amalgamation of what? People living in, 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 in a compound where they're, they're, all, they're all renting? Nobody in AP is original. They are all coming from PDP, ACN, CPC, ANPP into a rent house. Why you have your own room? By the time the rent is over, you pack out. Because that party is not a party. And so, Dr. Wiki, I keep on urging you. God used you. So thank you, God, for making you to impact the lives of people in the state. By doing what you are doing. And I think. In fact, whatever they say about you, that you know, you talk anyhow, like me. We talk anyhow because we are honest. We talk anyhow because we are sincere. We talk anyhow because we are very, very truthful. That's why we talk anyhow. Let me say, what I say in Kano, or in Jigawa, my state, or in Sokoto, when I come to Rivers, I will say the same thing in Enugu, in Oshu, in Undo. But the APC man in the north, what he said up there, when he comes here, he will not say it. Because he believes in perpetual division. They tell lies and divide. That's why they have this, you know, nomadic culture of lies. Very, very nomadic culture of lies. But the PDP man, wherever he is, wherever he is, it is a single family of PDP, of brotherhood, of sisterhood. Of people who believe in each other, who respect each other, and who love each other. And that's why we are working. Now, for those who are trying to go into APC, whatever reason, a caution from Sundanese. Whatever you are today is all thanks to PDP some years back. In 1999, I said, PDP invited so many people. They made presidents. Vice presidents, governors, speakers, assemblymen, ambassadors. At that time, God did not say, I'm going to make you. God used PDP to make what you are. So after I've been there, now after 20 years of, of, of uh, democracy, you think because of your new acquired status, you are going to go into APC to do what they are. They are telling lies, they are deceiving you, they are trying to simply diminish you. So those who are trying to go into APC, whatever reason of ambition, a word of caution. APC has disintegrated. There is no APC in Nigeria. Because there is no one single job anywhere, either in the north, where we have the president, because what people like me, they know, you know the north. What do we have from having Nigerian presidents from the north? Nothing. Nothing. So to us, is Nigerian president for Nigerian people. Nigerian people are both in the north and in the south. They are both Igbos, Yorubas, or House of Lani. They are also Christians, they are also Muslims. So it means it is our common humanity who should be uniting us. It's in our national anthem, in the sense that though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we stand. In sisterhood, therefore, when I stand here, when I look at Wiki, I don't see Wiki, I see Sulamiru. So 